It is now 2013. I've been in LA for over a year now. I've been out of college for over a year now. I'm in the real world. The real world is a scary place. 2012. This is the third annual year in review. Never watched one of my video logs before. Well, you picked a good one to start with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over my whole year. There'll be links to all these different things as I talked about them. You'll just see. Why well, don't why am I trying to explain this? Oh, you'll see. This was a year of web series, of music videos, and of really me growing a lot as a, as a filmmaker. Career-wise, 2012 I started off, I was still working as an assistant editor on this feature film, which is soon to be released. And then I entered the land of the freelance filmmaker, with ups and downs. Ups being paid to go to Vegas, film stuff there, that's pretty cool. Downs being not paid to do anything. I currently actually am now editing, I have a kind of consistent editing work with Jolly Road Productions where I do wedding editing videos. My living situation has been awesome in 2012. I've been living with some of my closest friends down here and we've just had an awesome creative environment. And we actually have made some videos together, channel, two guys, two keyboards, which kind of are the jams we've filmed and there's more, many more to come. So if you like watching those jams, subscribe. A lot of those are just kind of spur of the moment, let's film something. It's, it's just cool to be in a creative environment, to live with creative people because you can just spend the night playing music or, or go out like we did one night and film us either freestyle rapping you might not believe it but freestyle rap or or just music or improv or all sorts of things I the fire, I admire the pain I admire success and I'm straining the train 2012 uh, Silent Heart got picked up to be in the Santa Barbara International Film Festival it won an award for best in the official best of fest Oh, awards? That's always confusing to say. It won a Best Fiction Narrative Student Film in Monaco Charity Film Festival. It also picked up uh, recently an award in the My Hero Film Festival in the student category. I officially released the film. You can watch it right up here. You can also see the release video, which I kind of summarize how it came to be. But that Silent Heart was made in 2011. That was not made in 2012. The awards just came in 2012. A big project for me actually in 2012, one of the big projects was Fresh Off the Plane. And this is a web series about foreigners living together in the same apartment. We shot five episodes. Everyone on the cast got SAG eligibility, which is the reason we shot it. Yeah, it has its own channel. Really, it's a really good showcase, I think, of what we can all do. But some of my favorite stuff that I've shot, that was shot in the spring of last year. We actually just were able to release it fall of this year. The, re the reception's been great so far. Played in El Cid's web series night it's also played in uh, the unofficial Google Plus Film Festival and it's gotten featured on a couple of different blogs which has been really cool. Another big project which is actually just released a couple weeks ago uh, is With You Now the music video and my very first music video I directed I raised all the funny on Kickstarter which thank you to everyone that helped I didn't make this music video like normal music videos are made. It's almost like a story we're trying to tell. And Daniel Aldridge, the artist, was completely on board. We both worked on creating a story together. Uh, he had a credible song. I really felt something when I listened to it, and so I wanted to kind of have a video that, that brings that emotion more to the forefront. You can see the behind the scenes video for that, but that was a big undertaking. You can watch the finished music video right up here, eight locations in three days of shooting, but at the end of the day, I'm really proud of what we were able to accomplish, and hopefully it's the first of many music videos to come. Also, when I moved down to LA over a year ago, I joined an improv troupe. Uh, I've been performing uh, around LA and getting better at improv and practicing once a week. It's an incredible difficult, but really rewarding experience, because after this year, I've really grown, and I can start actually being confident in what I'm doing, and maybe even be funny. I don't know. But we actually took a road trip uh, in, in the fall to St. Louis, and that was an amazing experience. I haven't made the video log for that, but that was in 2012. Our coach, Gion, um, and I actually collaborated to make a little sketch he wrote, a superhero roommate. We made it on no budget. Um, you can watch that up here. You can also see the behind the scenes video over there. That was uh, kind of my first dabbling in this sketch filming, and I'll probably revisit that pretty soon. Another big thing for me this year was actually I tried to get involved in as many other productions as I could. I was able to act in The Vault, who I acted in a music video called Bike Path love made by my friend Brent Pella. I was able to really grow a lot by by watching other people at work. Yeah, a big thing for me this year has actually been, and I made a video log about this, is just about making quality projects as opposed to making as many projects as I can. I've kind of turned my focus towards less projects but bigger projects at the same time. I kind of promised myself that every new project that I make is going to be either something in new territory that I haven't done before or the best thing that I've ever done up until this point. And that's a big, you know, obviously a big level to set or maybe it's not depending on 
my work. I, I think it's something I'm going to stick by and just kind of continue to up my game, up the production, and just keep making stuff, but making it better and better and better. And obviously that's, that's kind of something you always do because you are growing when you make new stuff. But for me, it was kind of realizing that every project you make is a big effort and, and it takes up a lot of free time. And if it's not going to be something incredible, then why would I devote this time to it? I like to call it my freshman year of LA because I've kind of found my footing. I, I was just so new to this whole city and the way it worked and I'm kind of finally starting to get a hang of things and to see how possible it is to make a living doing what you love, which I believe everyone should be doing. Happy 2013. Subscribe to keep update on all my things. I only did nine video logs last year, which I did a video log a week the year before, and so I'm kind of slacking on that front. I've grown so much, I feel like, and I've learned so much, and I'm uh, gonna continue learning more and push the, push the envelope and become what I was born to be, a filmmaker.